Hi, I'm Corky of Corky's Pest Control. You know, the name Corky came from a cartoon character in Gasoline Alley, a comic strip that ran for about 70 years back in the Midwest. I've always had a love for cartoons, and that's why Corky's has one of the largest collections of pest cartoons in the world. If you have a few minutes, you should visit our website at corkyspest.com slash cartoons and get a chuckle or two out of our collection. I'd appreciate it. Corky's has been providing pest control service since 1967. We're the largest mobile home pest control provider in Southern California. We provide treatments other pest control companies don't include in their regular service, such as the mister that we put on the underside of your mobile home. It's like an aerosol that absolutely spreads over and gets around everything. One of the most important factors that differentiates us from other companies is the degree of training and professionalism of our employees. That includes our technicians out in the field as well as our customer service representatives in the office. All of us are dedicated to the same principle. Make sure that you're completely satisfied with our service. So what does our service consist of? Here to explain our services are three Corky's Pest Control Specialists. One will address general pest control issues, another rodent control, and the third will touch on termite control in addition to a few other topics of interest. Hi, uh, I'm Nick Martinez. Been with Corky for almost five years now, and uh, you know, been pretty much doing mobile home services the whole time. Uh, today, we're going to go ahead and walk you through what one of those entails. Hi, folks. I'm Nancy at Corky's Pest Control. Been here for four years and a half, and I'm going to show you a little bit of how do we do a rodent inspection in a mobile home. When I started with Corky's, I was, you know, especially doing mobile homes as far as pest control, just general pests. But I've been with him for about 12 years or so. We do definitely. Uh, treat these structures a little bit different uh, termite wise also you have uh, different scenarios uh, with this kind of home because you are uh, on, a, on a substructure so there it's a raised foundation which means it's got a lot of uh, uh, you know skirting and wood members that are touching the ground which causes a lot of subterranean activity uh, and fungus too that, that can relate to to the, to the wood members that are touching the grounds. Uh, we're gonna be dusting the eaves, the carport, getting all the webs off the surrounding areas. And uh, that's the first step of the mobile treatment today. Basically, you know, getting the webs off of the structure before we spray them. It looks sharp, nice clean service. Make sure nothing's in the windowsill, the cracks, crevices. The first thing we wanna look at is possible entry points for a rodent. Customers don't think and don't realize how small a gap can be for a rodent to have access to your home. Other spots, it's really common in mobile homes where one side of the house does not have concrete. In this case, it would be this area, which just has rocks and dirt. Rats easily make a little hole and they go right in underneath it. This, you wanna make sure you're outlining so no, you know, insects are going to cross over from the landscape to the home. Treat the foundation. The window trim for the spider activity. And then the eaves. Spraying the foundation of the home right now. Make sure no insects wants to go inside. We're using a pyrethroid so it has a repellency on it. Not only does it kill the insects if they walk through it, but it will also repel them from the structure. So a lot of mobile homes um, also will have an area like this. This one has to, happens to be, uh, they made it into a room, but many have a porch in that area or, you know, or an actual enclosed room like this. And the difference in this area of, of the mobile home is that uh, under, underneath the structure, a lot of it has exposed framing which means we find a lot of the termites down here uh, dry wood and subs also but because the the wood is exposed in this area it's definitely uh, one of the areas that have, uh, have concerns over both kinds of termites which are subterranean and dry woods many people will put storage in this general area this one happens to have some plywood underneath and it's a little it's a little bit better but many put uh, cardboard boxes and other kinds of, you know, things that are that are stored in here, and they can definitely remember cardboard is 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 wood. So it definitely, when it touches the ground, it, it can definitely cause subterranean termites to want to hit those areas. So 
you being careful to do that is something that I would definitely uh, recommend not to do. Next thing we want to do, we always want to check underneath wherever there's an axis. Always carry your tool, number one tool with you, which is your flashlight. To see if we see any signs of rodent feces, we stick our head in there. We look for any, any signs of rats. In this case, our customer said he'd never seen any rodent feces in here. I just found a couple of droppings and this is exactly why we're, we're doing this video so people can understand how small a gap has to be for a rodent to have access to underneath your house. Another common spot are these ventilations that mobile home are required to have. Most of the time when manufactured homes are sold, they never have a screen on the back. Easy access for a rodent to come in. In this case, it even has a ladder for them. Anything that's hanging out, any cables, is a ladder for rodents to have access to underneath your house. Once they're underneath your house, then the problem starts escalating to something way bigger. Rats start going underneath, in between your floor and your insulation, and eventually make it inside your kitchen. So definitely, you know, in mobile homes, you have this kind of scenario with, with the carports, and you have to spray around these posts because uh, ants especially can climb up and, and be over the structure and end up in, in, the, in the home without, you know, without having any kind of the chemical on it. So you gotta really pay attention to these type of areas. Having uh, us do the landscape out here is a big plus. Treating underneath the window casings and on the sides, that's for the spider or other crawling insects. Make sure we hit the window seals and the eaves up top. Windows open, so we never want to spray around the open window. We're going to be doing the underneath power misting, and that's basically going to be taking care of the insects that are underneath, you know. Uh, a lot of the times it's the ants coming up from underneath the home, spiders are crawling up. So this, this is a, a great effective tool that Corky's does, and I don't think any other pest control places do this. So let's see what's going on. underneath here's another common entry point that used to be here in the past you can see how much of the rodent mark has been so this is a, a actually tells us that underneath the house there was a lot of rodent activity in the past it has been screened the only thing that they didn't tell the customer or the customer did, was not aware of Corky's always recommends to always overpaint rodent marks to remove rodent scent. To finish our inspection, we determine if there's any rodent entries, rodent feces found underneath the home. If there is, like in this case, we would recommend customer to go on to our rodent service. These are what our base stations look like. They're locked in, they're, they're child-proof, they're pet-proof, they're safe for customer's pets. Um, they have to be open with the key. We, we open them with the key and our bait will be in one of these sticks, properly secured. Um, we would basically bait them with five sticks and we would put our poison carefully in and anchor your bait stations, lock them in, set them down where we, where we think their rodents are gonna be coming towards your home. So as you've seen, we've uh, looked at different areas in which you can have problems in a mobile home, which uh, started from your general pest, which would be your ants and spiders and crawling insects that you may have around the home. And we went into rodents also that can, you know, we showed you different areas of possibilities of entry points and uh, different scenarios that can cause problems with that. Uh, termite wise, you have both dry wood termites and subterranean termites. During the inspection, if we do find dry rot, we definitely uh, do the repairs and that is, consists of having the licensed contractor come out, find the areas that we've mentioned and take care of the, of the problem appropriately because dry rot and fungus obviously needs to be repaired and replaced uh, to not cause any further issues. Besides having the most experienced and well-trained technicians in the business, Corky's also has an expert staff back in the office. 
They're each qualified to answer any question you may have, whether it be about regular pest control or about rats or termites. Our goal is to be as friendly, knowledgeable, and responsive to your needs as possible. Together, working as a team, Corky's office staff and field technicians are ready and eager to help you with whatever pest problem you have. We've come a long way since 1967. We now have 150 employees and 100 trucks in the field. We appreciate your business and look forward to serving all of your pest control needs. Thank you very much, and I hope you give us a try.